Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunpla Network. I'm the Spicer and today we'll be recapping the prologue in episode 1 of Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch for Mercury. We'll be doing this every week so be sure to stay tuned here on the Gunpla Network for future episodes. The prologue is brought to you by Massive Corporate Greed, while the first episode is brought to you by none other than Tomatoes. Tomatoes, everyone's most okay murder topping. In the prologue to Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury, we are put in the year 110 of the Ad Stella calendar as a test for the Gundam system is being conducted on the XGF-02 Gundam Lafirth. Uh, but they're having some difficulties and it's not going super well. Miss Lady's real upset about it, and then we get the cutest little cinnamon roll to ever exist, four-year-old Eri, just coming in, just interrupting this high... Yeah, tech military tests like I don't care I'm here pay attention to me look at my cute bunny backpack anyway uh, here's a bunch of uh, ex-pilots I assume that uh, are not looking too hot they're having a future zoom meeting about it not going well dude in the middle looks real worried uh, he might be losing his job uh, or being sued we don't know anyway this dude's like enough CNN we're going to have a birthday for the cutest little cement roll ever Miss Airy here Look at all those birthday decorations. Killing it on the decoration front, Aerie and Aerie's family. They're all excited and happy. They're like, oh, oh, some bad stuff might also be happening. And then we cut to Supervillain Lair. You know what, like, supervillains and, I don't know, maybe mega corporations hate? Innovative business ideas they can't buy, like the Gundam system, which is also equally horrible. But it doesn't matter because we got the whole crew up in here. We got Bezos, we got Musk, we got Gates, we got all the heavy hitters plotting to maybe shut these people out of business and or kill them. Uh, th th that last little bit's not important. But look at the supervillain layer. Those billions of dollars build some sweet supervillain layers, so I guess they gotta show them off. It's also very Gundam 00, like this floor. Look at that floor. It's crazy. Anyway, they're all plotting the demise of our, uh, our fun little family over on the space station. Real sad. Real upsetting, mustache man's not important. That guy's important. Those guys aren't important. Uh, and then we get Delling's back, the most intimidating of backs. Anyway, birthday party gets ruined. Airy comes to one-on-one -on -one the Gundam Rubris. The Gundam Rubris starts talking back because it's Dr. Cardo, and she's like, whoa, I thought I was about to throw hands with the Gundam. Uh, and then Dr. Cardo's like, hey, yeah, you're pretty special, but this thing's special, so I'm going to put you in the cockpit because that makes total sense to me. I am Cardi's Vist. Get in this robot, you tiny child. Anyway, a bunch of bad stuff starts happening. Look at the Gundam 00 design here. Looks great. Love this ship design. I hope we get more information on this ship. I'm not going to lie. I love this design. Anyway, uh, Delling's plotting, doing some plot and stuff, doing a press conference. Future important guys like, hey, we're just going to shut down business. And all of them are like, oh, we don't want to shut down business. Then Dr. Cardo's like, yeah, we're all going to die. Uh, then... People start dying. Dr. Cardo was right. That's why she's a doctor. Daddy starts to go pilot one, which looks sick. Love this, like, opposite Ava drop into space. It's really cool. Uh, this, this fight scene is just really good. I'm not going to lie. Just, it's, it's good. I'm not going to have to say much about it. Uh, but we do get to see the tensions the, the Gundam system puts on the pilot. We get to see the mass production units of the big year. Uh, looks pretty cool. Strange color, but, you know, it's a it's a grunt suit, so take what you will. And they do it. Delling's like, hey, we might or might not be killing everyone, but don't look into it. Uh, look at how much this man doesn't want you to look into it. Anyway, dead people, more kind of future dead people. Delling, mobile suits, mobile suits with dead people, cool mobile suit, more mobile suit fights. That beam is really cool. I love how they actually use the thrusters in the uh, the show, actually, as well. Like, they actually kind of counterbalance thrust. It's really nice. Anyway, uh, they have a fight. We get to see the D... <laughs> the um, D cyber new typing of people, or the, the D new typing of people through these D new type balls. Oh, my God. How am I doing this? And then she realizes her daughter is actively piloting the mobile suit and the Gundam thing. And she's like, oh, my child's definitely going to die. Uh, but her child is the chosen one and can pilot the mobile suit because reasons doesn't matter. Uh, we'll probably find out more in the future. And then we get more mass production mobile suits about to get got. And Aerie's like, yeah, blow that guy up. Blow that guy up. I'm going to blow that guy up. 
And Harry's like, yeah, I'm real good at this. This is my this is my new day job, mama. I'm going to bring in the big bucks. Now on to episode one. This is 10 years later, so Ari is like 14, 15, somewhere in there. And uh, she's going to school. We get to see all her space junk. We get a, a space pencil case. Look at that. That's great. Space pencil cases. Uh, we see some other stuff. I'm not sure what the rest of it is. It doesn't exactly matter, though. Uh, the Gundam Ariel's like, I'm going to break your shit. I'm going to go rescue this person, and then they do it. Uh, this person's like, man, I'm really trying to kill myself here, but you're Benajra linksing me again. And uh, <laughs> then she gets headbutted. I love that. Then we get Maroni or Miron or however you say her name, Miss Rimbrand Delling Jr. I was going to call her Delling Jr. from now on. Uh, she real upset. She was trying to, quote unquote, escape, but we all know what she was doing. She's absolutely 100% trying to kill herself here. Anyway, big upset. Eri, who is now Zuleta, is like, oh, sorry, bro. I'll take responsibility somehow, I guess. Maybe I'll kill you. I don't know. Anyway, Zuleta's here. She's like, whoa, this is amazing. Uh, look at blue hair girl. She's definitely not going to get picked in some kind of love triangle here. Very upsetting, but she's here. She's holding it down. She's doing work. Then Zuleta's looking mad awkward because Zuleta is mad awkward. The mean girls pop up to start bullying her, and Suleta is like, uh, I don't get it. And then they go to bully her, and she's like, yeah, look at my headband, it's sick. And they're like, oh, we were trying to make fun of you. And she's like, I don't know what that means. And then you get a shot of uh, Delling Jr.'s butt for some reason. Not well defined, so it's not even like a, hey, look at the butt. It's like, hey, look at this line we drew. Uh, then everything gets interrupted. Look at this mean-ass stare. Because we got a fight. We got a mobile suit fight in the first episode that's not the Gundam. This is sick. Uh, this dude's getting rocked. This is not great for this man. Uh, he's running. He's doing his best. But look at that. Look at that imposing ass Delaz in what is supposed to be a red color, but is absolutely 100% of purple. Uh, this dude's like, oh, well, I was teaching class, but we'll watch this because it's pretty sick anyway. Uh, there's a screen. Uh, we, we get a butt shot again. We get kind of our three other, I guess, auxiliary characters, other main cast here. Uh, dude with an ascot reading a book with his gloves on, but also wearing shorts. Uh, the long-haired man's like, hey, I'm officiating this duel, I guess. I now pronounced you dueling. Uh, does big attack with his little beam lance. Stabs the guy in the face. And uh, almost kills a bunch of students. Good job. That there is the horn on the top of the head that you have to cut off in the duel. And I guess it got cut off at some point. And then Delling, or no, Ghoul is like, hey, Delling Jr., I'm your fiance. Look how I humiliated this guy. Yeah, I'm the big boss man. Anyway, she big mad about it. So let us like, I still don't understand what's happening. Purest cinnamon roll ever. Uh, look at Gwell. Gwell, Grell, Gwell. Uh, we're just going to call him Chippity Jr. Because he looks kind of like Chippity Crockett. We get a greenery. We get a greenhouse. We get uh, Delling Jr. in her natural habitat of gardening. Then we get Saleta who just followed her without being noticed somehow. And is like, hey, yo, I'm sorry, bro. And she's like, nah, I don't care. Look at how much I don't care. Saleta's very upset. She's like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, this is that they're talking about fiancés here. She's like, oh my god, what? how does fiancéing work? Uh, then... Delling Jr.'s just telling her a sad story about how her dad's a dick. This dude's planning to kill the dad. This dude's like, hey, maybe we can save the business. And Delling's like, nah, nah, fam. Anyway, dude's plotting. He's like, I'm going to kill Delling. Then Delling's like, I don't care about Delling Jr. How dare I have children? Uh, his eyebrows have also gotten less aggressive over time. Good for him. Anyway, Delling Jr. is going on about plants. Suleta's like, oh my god, plants, what is that? She's like, yo, it's a tomato. She's like, man, can I have that tomato? And she's like, nah, but tomato, but nah, but tomato. Anyway, she does give her the tomato because uh, Suleta's mad hungry because I guess she hasn't eaten cause for reasons. I don't know why. Gwell shows up. He's like, yo, I'm big boss. Look at, look how, look at my chippity ass hair. And uh, they kind of square off a little bit. He gets big mad and doesn't know how to express his feelings out other than anger. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Anyway, uh, she gets thrown down. He slaps her. And then Suleta's like, yo, we got to do something. And they're like, ah, nah, nah. Look at Mean Girl in the background. She's like, yeah, yeah, this is what I wanted. Anyway, Suleta rocks up. 
It doesn't like slap him in the back of the head or the back straight on butt. Just full on butt. Anyways, let us smack that ass. Uh, he starts dancing and this has become a meme. He's holding his butt. He's big upset. He's literally butt hurt. <laughs> anyway, uh, she hides behind the mean girls. They're very confused by this. Then she makes a comment about him being pushy and they laugh at him. So he challenges her to a duel and she's like, uh, I, okay. And dude's like, oh yeah, my son's definitely going to win this. I'm going to bomb Delling super hard because I want to be boss man. Uh, Delling, super unaware. Or it's just like, yeah, some, some cool shit's about to happen. I can feel it in my Delling bones. Then we get to the Gundam Aerial. Everyone's very confused because it has three colors, so they think it's French. Uh, anyway, so the fight starts. So Lita's like, why is Gundam Aerial out there without me? Uh, she's like, oh, she stole Delling Jr. stole my mobile suit. And then second girl is like, oh, okay, uh, I'll be mechanic. I'll help you out. Just long enough that Delon's is like stalling because he's like, yo, I got to wait for Saleta to show up. But he's really just monologuing. Uh, Delling Jr. is very upset about this. This lady doesn't actually break in, but lets Saleta use her ID, I guess, to break into the fight. I don't really know how that happens. Uh, anyway, she got a Haro bike. She's going to Haro bike it up headbutts Delling Jr. back gets in the mobile suit dude's like I guess we'll let them fight it doesn't matter uh Suleta says something that insults Gwell or Chippity Jr. so uh he's like no I'm gonna fight her now and Gundam Ariel's just like I'm gonna be real imposing and stand here and Suleta's like activate cyber new type abilities or new type abilities uh blocks a big boom big beam blast looks sick the Delons is like, I'm going to fight you. And she's like, nah, nah, you don't even get close enough, fam. I'm going to destroy you. Uh, dude real upset about it. Man stops reading his English book. Don't know why the text is in English, but it's uh, pretty cool. Glad that guess they put that in English. Someone can read it if they want. Dude's really excited that his bro just got wrecked. And uh, then we get the Ariel finishing the job, making big feathers because that big plume on his head. And... Uh, Chibity Sr., I guess, uh, gets informed that his son is a huge disappointment. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Cool shot. Big disappointment. Real sad. Big angry. Uh, and then the proposal. The cool fancy clothes come with a wife. And so Letta's like, I don't know. I want a wife. I am a woman. And she's like, me too. And she's like, but how did that work? And she's like, oh, we're on space station it's all right what happens in space stays in space 